Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing this fella. Magpies Raven Stout. Um, Magpie are a brewery um, that are based near the uh, Notts County's ground, hence the Magpie connection. And they've got a tap room as well that's actually near the ground or in the ground, I'm not sure. That you have to... Um, book a space for on on um on match days uh do quite a good range of beers to be fair i've i've reviewed their cherry raven before so the first time i've i've tried this it's 4.4 percent um it's obviously local to me rich and smooth it says oh brewed with all british hops and malt supporting british farms and a 100 percent Green energy powered brew kit. Um, rich, smooth, and packed full of roasted malt flavours and a little sweet smokiness. So, massive head on it. Uh, near black in colour with a tan head. Um, it looks lighter on the on the video than it does not, you know, in front of me. Oh, a smokiness on, on the um, on the aroma. Malt and smoky. Mm. So while I wait for that to go down, I shall drink some out of the bottle because there's about half of it left in the bottle. Pour a bit in, top it up a bit. Oh yeah, so straight away that smokiness really, um, really at the forefront there. Different. It's got. Um, I'll pick it out in a minute. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's something in the taste. Um, very rich and smooth. Yeah, it's, it, to me, very similar to a Guinness, but with, with you know the toast and the smokiness in it. Oh my God, absolutely boiling. Obviously, the eating's on in the house this time of the year. It's on. It's on time. So it's it's on till about seven o'clock, and I'm sweating like a bloody uh, like a trooper here. Not to mention, I've just hoovered up and quickly mopped all the floors because. Bloody dog, and uh, it smells gorgeous now. Nice smell of disinfectant. You can't beat cleanliness, can you? So once you get past the the initial smokiness, quite a nice stout actually. It goes down really well. But I do prefer to drink it out of. Uh, um, out of a glass so as you can see near black and uh, with that off and um, it's more of an off white head than a tan head Ooh. now as a fan of football and as a fan of a lifelong fan of Nottingham Forest I've been looking on e um, eBay been looking on YouTube at the exploits from the European Cups when we won the back-to-back -back European Cups. They all go on about Leicester, and what Leicester did was amazing, you know. The but in that same year they did what they did. All the big name clubs were having a bad year, and it just so happens that they all had a bad year the same year that yet Leicester won the Premier League. And uh, but taking nothing away from Leicester, what they did was amazing, you know. They beat teams with a certain stand uh, a certain type of football and this year they're doing well again you know fair play to them they're third in the Premier League at this moment in time um, but both what Forrest did was you know amazing and I didn't know that Brian Clough he was an extraordinary bloke in his playing career 
he, I listen to it on, I've been listening to uh, Talk Sport um, off an app. And in his playing career, say it was like 260 appearances. He had like 240 some goals in 260 appearances, which is, you know, is outstanding. You imagine that in today's day and age. Bloody hell. Um, you'd be winning premierships and European Cups with that sort of striker. You know, that's Messi or Ronaldo um, type. Um and what he did with Derby, he won the, the League One with Derby, i.e. the Premiership. And he took him to the semi-finals of the European Cup. And then obviously he went to Leeds, got sacked after 44 days. Obviously he didn't like his brand of, um, you know, his outspokenness. But, you know, I, I can't fault him for that. And then he came to Forest, took Forest from Division 2, i.e. the Championship, up to the Premiership. Or won it in the first, so took him up. I don't know if they won the... Championship or came second, I can't remember. But they went to, um, then they went to the Premiership, Premiership at that time, Premier League, won the Premier League, and then did obviously won two out of three uh, League Cups, uh, back to back Champions Leagues basically. And in them days, Champions Leagues where you had to win, you couldn't lose a game like you can now, you can lose a couple of games and still go through. Uh, obviously, then it was a knockout competition, you know, two legs, but still a knockout competition. And, uh, yeah, what he did was amazing. And I've been watching it on, on YouTube, and to relive it, fantastic. I'd love to get all the, the matches in their full entirety, but it's, it's not easy done. Um, just need somebody with, who, who, who's videoed it over the years to re-upload it. But comp uh, football teams like that, you know, you, you you should be. For me, if I was in charge of boys, and I don't know if they already do, but uh, but any of these clubs, say you've won Premiership, the Champions League, whatever you've won, go back, put it on DVD, and you watch the football fans buy it because they want to see all that. Well, I would anyway. And this year, there's a chance that Forest finally might go. Uh, we're in the playoff positions. There's a good chance we can reach the promotions. And uh, obviously, getting into the Premiership is one thing. Staying in the Premier League, well, that's something else altogether. As all football fans know, it's. Uh, I mean, that year, Derby got 10 points all season. I mean, that was embarrassing. And uh, they forget about that, our Derby, Derby fans do. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pro East Midlands, I am. But obviously, if some Derby fans slagging Forest off, then you will um, give some back. Although county fans these days are very quiet, but I can understand that. Ball boggers. <clears throat> but anyway, back to the beer, which is the main thing. So, now I'm halfway down, and a beer should never be, you should, you should never give your full verdict on a beer after one sip, because um, obviously it's got to cleanse your palate, it's got to go down, you've got to get used to it, and then you know if you're going to like it, or, or if you don't, you know, we are all very different in, in our likings of beers. Sometimes you're pro one brewery, you know, you, you, like you're of a football team, you're pro that football team, you don't hear anything against it. But um, some breweries make good beers and sometimes they make the odd duff beer. And uh, for me, this is a very nice beer. This is a better version of a stout than the cherry version of this, the cherry stout. Um, the cherry didn't really come through enough for me. If you're going to make a fruit stout, sorry about my dog, he's got tappy feet. And his bloody nose as well, sees me talking, thinks, what's, what's Dad doing? Although he's deaf and he can't hear me anyway. Go away. Yeah, he can't hear me anyway these days, but he can certainly, he certainly knows how to communicate. He's a very clever little dog. Uh, Cocker Spaniel, beautiful. And uh, 12 years old now, and uh, you know, you start to, when you see dogs deteriorate, you look and you think, God, he's 12. And uh, when our last dog died, it ripped us all to bits, me especially, uh, in tears at work, you know. And uh, as a 30-year-old, well, I would have been 30 at the time, 
Yeah, 32, and uh, quite a strong, uh, much stronger than the 48 year old you see in front of you today. I was a very strong 32 year old, not, not frightened of giving anybody my opinion and uh, telling people how it is. And uh, yeah, it had me in tears. I was absolutely bucketing at work. And uh, but you know, your family aren't they, dogs? And uh, yeah, he's twelve now, and uh, he's going. He's gone deaf, but he's still he's still a bloody nutter. He has a shit and runs around like a twat. It's like yeah, I've had a shit. Yeah, and he runs around the front room up and down. It's like best thing he's done in the world. Good thing we don't do that when we've had a shit, isn't it? Come out running out the toilet. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to go down that road. So, very drinkable. I can, I can, I could quite easily see myself on a Saturday afternoon drinking this and then going to watch the footy at Notts County. Watch one game, they lost. Typical, isn't it? The one game you get a free, I got free tickets as well. Uh, watched it and they lost. But the best, the man in the match in the game was Nottingham Forest player. They got loaned to them. And then they fell out with Nottingham Forest, which I think is always a bad thing. I think your neighbours, if, if your neighbour team, yeah, rivalries aside, if your neighbour team is two or three leagues above you, and they've got spare talent just sitting in reserves doing bugger all. They might as well be playing proper games. And for me, I think Nottingham Forest, it's, it's, it, it should be a thing where they're the bigger team. They support that, the likes of Mansfield Town, who are up the road from us, and Notts County. With any players they can, uh, want to give the players game time. Two, to support your local teams. Surely that's got to be the way. And surely as a footballer, you want to play, don't you? Yeah, you paid an X amount of money. I mean, if I was paid what some of these footballers are paid, I'd be running around the pitch like a twat for 90 minutes. I'd be, I'd be coming off with um, oxygen wrapped right around my head, you know. But if you're getting 50,000, 100,000 pounds for it, whoa, Jesus. You don't need to do two weeks and that's it. A couple of years pay there. So, um, near black stout with a slightly off-white slash tan head. Smokiness on the nose and malt. On the taste, same on the taste. A very palatable and smooth um, stout. Uh, much better than the cherry version that they've got at because the cherry version, the cherry just doesn't come through enough and uh, really nice if you like your stouts, you like your guinnesses um, and that, I mean it's 4.4% so it's in the same sort of strength as guinness uh, you'll love this and uh, if you can get hold of it and that, there is, I've spoke about this company before Adventure Beer, uh, they're based in Nottingham and um, if you're interested in Nottinghamshire beers, I mean, if I can find companies like this all around the UK, companies that basically collect all your beers from that, basically these are from like the East Midlands, mainly, I think it's predominantly Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire, but they collect all the beers and they sell them on. So they're gonna make a bit on it, which you can understand. Um, but you haven't got to drive to all these different breweries. You haven't got to buy 20 beers. And a lot of these breweries don't sell you in single bottles anyway. So it's a better way for the likes of me and you to get lots of different beers at a price which is, you ain't going to see half these in the shops. So it's a, it's a good way of doing it. Now, if there's com more companies like this around the UK, that are doing all the beers in a certain area, like all the beers in East Anglia, all the beers in, I don't know, where else? Up north, down south. You get what I mean? And uh, if there's more companies like this, uh, online beer shops, then it's a great way of getting beers that you've, you've got no chance of getting to. 
and trying all the beers from that brewery. It's got to be the way forward, hasn't it? Um, unless they appear in supermarkets, obviously. Out of five, then. Really nice stout. It's very palatable. 4.4%. You're never going to get battered on it, but um, yeah, definitely good. Definitely worth trying if you like your stouts and Guinnesses and that sort of thing. Out of five, then. I'm going to give it the same as the ABV. 4.4%. 4.4 out of 5 rather, fucking hell, brain's gone, really like that, bang on. Right, thanks for watching and see you soon.